So have you been hearing people getting scammed out of their axes or cryptocurrencies and saying to yourself, these people are probably idiots. I'd never fall for scams like these. Well, don't be too sure because there are so many ways to get hacked or scammed now. Even a veteran in the NFT space, like this founder of an NFT game, got scammed out of 16 CryptoPunks. And these CryptoPunks that he lost were valued at roughly $1 million. And it was stolen because his MetaMask wallet got compromised. Scammers are getting more and more creative. So I'll show you some of the more common scams. So hopefully, you will learn and not fall for these kinds of scams in the future. Before we continue with the video, I'd just like to thank this video sponsor, NFT11. NFT11 is an upcoming football manager simulator game with play to earn mechanics and will be coming out soon. The devs have allowed me to show the early UI for their dashboard and here it is. The notice board will have all the announcements in the future. Here on the upper right, you can connect your wallet to your account and you can choose between these particular wallets. Here on the left, you can click on account settings if you want to unlink your account and link to a different wallet. On the inventory, we can mint players. And here's what happened when I minted my three legend player tokens. Let's add some players and let's see what we get. Let's approve. And we gotta pay a little bit of gas. I hope we get a player with some wind or fire as those are my favorite elements and successfully minted. Ooh, what does this guy do? Interesting aura from him, but I, I guess the 3D view and the stats are still in development. So we can't check that out yet. So let's just mint the two other players left another transaction completed and oh this guy actually moves now his 3d oh i got a water player hmm bald bald like me successfully minted oh we got a copy oh that's unfortunate well i didn't get any of the elements that i wanted and i also got a duplicate player but i'm not complaining about the three legend players anyway so if you guys are interested in nft 11 please check out their links in the description below Anyway, before I show you some of the more common scams, the number one thing you always need to remember to protect your crypto wallet is to never give away your seed phrase. The seed phrase is like the key to your vault or the passcode to your porn folder. Once you give that away, the person who has it will get full access to everything that you own. Support staff for any crypto wallet will never ask for the seed phrase. If someone asks you for your seed phrase, they are most definitely a scammer. Okay, now that you have firmly established that on your mind, let's move on to the most common way that people scam you, which is called phishing. This type of scam has been around for a long time. And no, phishing is not the act of catching fish. Phishing is actually a type of scam where the scammer will try to send you a link or message and try to trick you into revealing your personal information, or in this case, your password or maybe your seed phrase. And the most common tactic is getting you to click on a website link that impersonates the actual real website. I'll show you an example here. This is a Facebook ad for Axie Infinity. And when you click this ad, it takes you to this website. Looks familiar? That's because it looks exactly like the Axie Marketplace. They did so well copying it that you can actually use the Marketplace filters and you can even filter through parts. But if you paid attention, you can see that the website is different from the actual Axie Marketplace website. Which is why I advise people to only use links from the official Axie team on their Discord. When you go back to the fake website, you can even click bridge and it'll take you to a Ronin Bridge lookalike website. And if you click deposit, it'll even try to connect to your MetaMask. Usually when you allow your crypto wallet to connect to a website, it's not that big of an issue. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I researched and read, once your wallet connects to a website, all they get is your wallet information and allow the site to send smart contracts to your wallet. The issue arises when you click something on the site 
and sends a smart contract for a transaction and you approve it, then you would have just sent them over your crypto for nothing. You also have to be careful of fake mobile apps, fake Twitch accounts that pretend to be Axie Infinity, and even fake websites that paid for Google Ads so their website pops up when you Google Axie Infinity. Also, you can be very wary if a website says you need to set up your MetaMask or Ronin wallet again, and if the site requests for your seed phrase. If you enter your seed phrase, then that's it. You will lose absolutely everything in that wallet. So make sure to always bookmark the correct pages and always double check if you are using the correct apps or links that SkyMavis have officially announced. Another phishing method is that scammers will impersonate people on Discord and will even have the same Discord number and name. How is this possible? If you have a Nitro account on Discord, you can choose your own Discord number. And if the person you will impersonate has an L in their name, like Solthos, people will use the capital letter I to make it look the same. So be very careful when you see people DMing you and asking you for your seed phrase or asking you to trade something to them. Because more often than not, it may be someone impersonating a known figure in the community. This is the same kind of scam that victimized the founder of the NFT game we were talking about in the beginning of this video. So if you see me messaging you asking for your seed phrase, please know that it's not actually me and it's probably a scammer impersonating me. Another common scam that you can find on the Axie marketplace is what I like to call bait auctions. As you know, when selling Axies, you can list their pricing as an auction. Usually, people will list their axes at a higher price, then they will let it gradually go lower in price as the day or time goes on. But you can also do the opposite and start it low and gradually increase the price. There are some sellers that take advantage of this by setting the price of an axie really low, but then they set the end price really, really high. This is because each duration tick will increase the price of the axie by a lot. And if you see the low price and try to buy it immediately without looking at the Ronin confirmation, you could be paying way more than the current price for that specific Axie. The last scam I want to talk about is probably the most ancient of all these scams, the trust me scam. This is where a person will tell you to trade with you directly and will ask you to send your Axies or crypto first before they send their payment. Or... They ask you to send the payment first before giving you the axes or the crypto that you want to purchase. Of course, the biggest risk here is that after you pay them, you never see them again, and they run away with your money. So you might ask yourself, why would people even do this kind of trade with such a big risk? Well, there is a lot of trust given to some people in certain communities as verified middlemen or people that are trustworthy enough that they can broker deals for you. Also, a lot of players that want to get into Axie Infinity can't be bothered to learn the basics of crypto trading and want to buy a full team right away. There are also those that want to avoid the 4.25% commission fees that Axie Infinity takes when you sell on the marketplace. But is saving that little bit of money really worth it for the risk of losing absolutely everything? And those are some of the more common scams you can find in Axie Infinity. Remember to always double check before doing any transactions and never ever give away your seed phrase. Remember that scammers are everywhere and that you should be extra careful to whom you place your trust. But one person that you can trust? Me. Especially when it comes to providing you quality content. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. If I missed out on any common scams in Axie Infinity, please let me know in the comments section below. A quick shout out to my subscribers who helped me give some ideas, pictures, and footage for this video. Thank you all for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye!